Okay, good morning class. Right, how are you today? Okay. Uh, so I remember I asked you to do uh, exercise, right? Tutorial 2.1, correct? Okay, 2.1 for question number 1 and 4 and also 7 until 8, right? Okay, uh, but uh, I s because these two days, right, I have to go to UT, right? Uh, school for SPM. So I don't have much time to do the video for the answer. Okay, but uh, I will make it today. Okay, I will make it today and I will post in the YouTube. I will upload in the YouTube and I will give you the link. Okay, but I want you to continue okay, to do this question. So uh, page two and also page three. Okay, right? Page two and page three. So I mean you have to do all the tutorial to point one. Okay. And I will, uh, I will upload the video, okay, the discussion about the uh, tutorial 2.1 okay, uh, in the YouTube. So you can check your answer there. Okay? But make sure you try to answer first. Okay, Then after that, you uh, can check the answer at, uh, at YouTube. Okay? Alright, so this is tutorial 2.1 and I think I got still got uh, this question, right? For number 4 until number 9. Right? So this one I will upload in the same video. So you can check all that in the... Uh, link that I will give okay. Alright, uh, so we move on to the next uh, part, okay, on 2.2, right, 2.2. Okay, so motion, okay, so motion graph. So in physics, right, in physics, there are three types of uh, graph, okay. So the first one is a displacement and time, okay. Second one is a velocity against time. And the third one is acceleration against time. So there are three types of motion okay, that you will learn okay, uh, in form 4. Okay, there is displacement time, velocity time and also another one is acceleration time. Okay. Alright, so what you have we learned in 2.2, okay, that you have to interpret right, the type of motion, okay, dis uh, displacement time, velocity time and also acceleration time. Okay, and you have to analyze the displacement time okay, to find the distance, displacement and also velocity. Okay, and then also you have to analyze the velocity time graph. Okay, so you can find the distance, displacement, velocity and acceleration. Okay, and you have to uh, learn how to sketch the graph okay, uh, to convert the graph. So let's say they give you displacement time graph. Okay, you have to convert it to the velocity time graph. Okay, or they give you velocity time graph okay, and you have to convert to acceleration time graph. Okay? And the last one, you have to solve problem involving linear motion graph. Okay? Alright, so from motion graph, you will get information about how fast something has traveled. Okay? So distance displacement or how fast it's moving means speed or velocity. So you have to remember distance is actually a scalar. This does not involve the direction. And displacement is a vector, okay, it involves the magnitude and also direction. Okay, and how fast is moving is speed and velocity. Okay, and then number three, the speed change with time means acceleration or deceleration. Okay, all right, so let's see the first graph. Okay, so there is a man. Okay, so man is jogging along a 50 meter track. Okay, all right, so when it's zero second, so the, the distance is, is so the displacement is zero. Okay, then when you move, okay, it will, it will jog until 50 meter, okay, and then at 10 second, okay, uh, sorry, at uh, once, uh, at 5 second, okay, it will move 10 meter, okay, 5 second already move 10 meter, okay, and then at 10 second, it moved at 20 meter, okay, so I mean this one you have to plot the graph, right, and then when t is equals to 30 second, it moved in 30 meter. Okay, and then the next one, when T is 20 second, it moves with 40 meter. And after that, T is 25 second. Okay, the time is 25 second. Okay, it's already run uh, about 50 meter. Okay, so you have to plot the graph like this. Okay, alright. Uh, and then second one. Okay, second one. Okay. The second graph is, so let's say when the T is 2 second. Okay, so it run is already 10 meter. Okay, when T is 4 seconds, it runs 20 meter. Okay, 
And next one, if P is 6 seconds, it's already run 30 meter. Okay, and another one, when P is 8 seconds, 8 seconds, it already run 40 meter. And when P is 10 seconds, it's already finished run 50 meter. Okay, so this will be the second graph. Okay, the first graph is the one that I just explained just now. Okay, and then the, you can see here, means it's jogging faster. Okay, because only 10 seconds, it's already reached 50 meter. Okay, but uh, before this, it takes 25 seconds for him to run 50 meter. So the, the second graph is jogging faster. Okay, all right. So let's see another example. Okay, let's say uh, another man okay, run. Okay, so let's say at T is 2 seconds, it runs five, uh, 5 meter. Okay, when T is 10 seconds, it already runs 10 meter. Okay, and then when T is 15 seconds, it runs 15 meter. And when P is 20 seconds, okay, it runs uh, 20 meter, 20 meter. Okay, and when P is 25 seconds, it runs 25 meter. Okay, so you can see the graph, this one they uh, are jogging slower because when it's, uh, when P is 25 seconds, it just only runs until 25 meter only. Okay, in, uh, if you compare the second graph, uh, when T is 10 seconds, it's already run 50 meter. So this one jogging faster. And the third graph is jogging slower. Okay, so that's how you want to plot the graph, right? Okay, so what does the gradient of graph represent? Okay, so you have to remember for the graph displacement at this time. Okay, the gradient represent by the uh, will uh, the gradient will represent the velocity. Okay, the gradient will represent the velocity. Right? Okay. So let's see, uh, let's say for this example, okay, can you try to uh, draw the graph first? Okay, based for this, uh, based for the, for, from this info given, can you please draw a graph? Just sketch the graph. Okay. I give you like, one minute to sketch the graph. Okay, because this one you already have the notes, right? So you just plot and uh, plot the graph and the line the graph. It's same like this one. Okay, just same like this one. Okay, let's say from this one t zero, the position is zero means it's at here, right? Okay, and then when t is one second, so t one second it already uh, moved ten meter, so it should be here like this. Okay, and then two, okay, it's two seconds, 20 meters. So you just put the graph and underline the graph. Let's see whether it's correct. Okay, so this is the graph. Okay, so it's directly proportional, right? Because it passed through the origin. Okay, all right. For the next part, okay, okay, so this is the graph that you have got. Okay, calculate the gradient. Okay, remember when I said if you want to calculate gradient okay, in physics, so what you should have? Anyone? Anyone remember if what I said? If I said if there is a gradient, what you need to have in physics? What you need to draw in the graph? Ninety degree triangle. Yes, very good. We can. Okay. So mean you have to draw a triangle. Okay. So let's say if I take for this part. Okay. Okay, so it means it's a tick from here, 0, 0. Okay, you have to put the coordinate, right? So this one is 550. Okay, so you make a triangle like that. Okay, alright. So next part, okay, what is the formula for gradient? M is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. 
Okay, so let's say I take this one as x y y one. This one is x two y two. Okay, so fifty minus zero divided by five minus zero. Okay, so fifty divided by five we get ten. Alright. Okay, so remember in chapter one we learn how you want to find the gradient, uh, the unit for gradient. Okay, so this one should be the answer for B, right? So the second part is asking you what is the unit of this gradient. So how you want to find the gradient for the, uh, how you want to find unit for the gradient? Anyone? Still remember chapter one? How do you want to find the unit of gradient? Ms negative one. Okay, ms negative one. Okay, other than that, maybe other got another answer. Maybe you got different answer from your friend. No, all got same answer like that. Wake up, wake up. Are you still sleeping? For S, for E. Okay. So I guess all of you got same answer. Yes, teacher, same, right? Thank you. Okay, so the unit for the gradient is the Y exists unit divided by the X exists unit. So what is the unit here? So the unit here is meter. Okay, and the unit for x axis is second. Okay, so remember for the gradient, okay, for the unit or uh, for the gradient, we have to find, okay, how you want to find y axis unit divided by x axis unit. Okay, so y axis unit is m, x axis unit is s. Okay, so when you divide, you change it, you got m s negative one. Okay, so this is the answer for C. Alright. Okay, D. What is the physical quantity showed by this unit? Okay, so MS negative 1 is actually the, uh, the unit for what? The unit for? MS negative 1 is actually is the unit for what? Yes, for velocity. Very good. Okay, so for D, the answer is velocity. Okay. So mean for the graph, displacement against time, the gradient represents the velocity. Okay, please remember that. Okay, uh, because there's a lot of questions we ask you about this one. Okay, uh, let's say they give you graph and then you have to find the velocity. So if you don't know that actually the uh, gradient of the graph is represent the velocity, right? So you, uh, you not know how to answer that. Okay, so please remember the gradient of the graph. Is actually uh, for velocity uh, for displacement against time. The gradient represented by uh, velocity. Okay. All right. Okay. So they say this is the another graph. So that one is actually directly proportional graph, right? In straight line. Okay. So what what if I have this uh actually like this? Okay. So, deduce from the shape of displacement time graph, right? So, for this question, okay, for this question, uh, there's a two method, okay, whether you can calculate, okay, by using the formula of gradient, or you can just draw the triangle, okay? Like this one, we use the, we use a formula, right? Okay, we use a gradient formula to find the, uh, to find the uh, gradient. Okay, what is the value of the uh, as the uh, velocity here? Okay, All right. But let's say for this one. Okay, they didn't give you any value here, right? They didn't give you any value here. So how you want to find the velocity? Okay, so you can draw the triangle. So how you want to draw? Okay, let's say for this one. Can I draw a triangle? Can I draw a triangle here? Can teacher draw a triangle? It's like this. No. All right. Means if I can draw a triangle, means, means there is no gradient, right? So means the gradient is zero because I cannot draw a triangle there, okay? So when the gradient is zero, means the velocity also must be 
zero. Okay, so the answer here is zero. Okay, I cannot draw a triangle, right? Okay, however, how much I try, I cannot, still cannot draw a triangle. So, means the gradient is zero and also we know that the gradient represents velocity. So, velocity is zero. Okay, so let's say for this part, okay. Okay, let's say for this part, okay. So, it said here, okay. The straight line of the graph has a, okay, this one is a positive gradient. Okay, it's a positive gradient okay, because the graph is increasing, right? So, it's positive. Okay, so for this one, they give you value so you can find the gradient. Okay, so this one, if you want to find the gradient, you have to use the formula here, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so this one is 520. Okay, so 20 minus 0 divided by 5 minus 0. So you will get 4. So this one, the gradient is actually 4m over s. Okay, but let's say they didn't give you any value. Just, they just give you like this. Okay, S, M and T over X. Okay, right. So how you want to find the gradient? Okay, you know that you cannot calculate because it didn't give you any value. So how you want to determine the velocity? You can draw a triangle here, right? So if I draw a triangle, okay, if I draw a triangle, you can see the size of the triangle is same. Okay, the size of the triangle that I draw is same. So mean if the size of the triangle is same, means the gradient also must be same. Okay, the gradient also must be same. So if the gradient is same, means the velocity also constant. Let's see also same or uniform velocity. Okay. Are you clear? You want teacher to repeat? You want, you want me to repeat again? Are you clear? You want teacher to repeat again? Anyone? For E, are you clear? Okay. Right? So, I explain again. Maybe some of you still cannot understand. Okay. So, let's say this drop, they don't have a value. They didn't, they, didn't, uh, they didn't give you any value like this. So, how you want to find the velocity? Okay. How you want to describe the motion? Okay. So, what you have to do, you just draw a triangle. So, if I draw a triangle, all the triangle is actually in the same size. Okay. And we know that actually in physics, triangle is a gradient. So the gradient is same because of the size of triangle is same. Uh, the gradient also should be same, and the gradient is represent by uh, represent velocity. So means velocity also same. So velocity same means uniform velocity. Okay, uniform velocity. Right. So how about the uh, the third one? Okay. So object moving with acceleration. Okay. So the gradient of the curve is positive. It's a positive, right? Because the graph is increasing. Okay, how about the velocity? Okay, so this one, they didn't give you any value. So if they didn't give you any value, so how you can find? Okay, you can just draw a triangle. Right, you draw a triangle. Okay, what can you see here? The size of triangle. Anyone? How about the size of triangle here? Is it increasing, decreasing, or is it uh, constant, not changing? Yeah, getting longer. Getting longer means the triangle become bigger, right? The triangle become bigger. So the size of triangle become bigger means the gradient is increasing, right? The gradient is increasing. So the gradient is actually represent velocity, means the velocity increase. Okay, so the velocity is increasing. Okay, the velocity or uh, the velocity is increasing. So velocity increasing means it what? Accelerate or decelerate? Yes, accelerate. Okay, so the object experience acceleration. Okay, right. so remember there are two methods if you want to 
find whether uh, velocity is increasing, decreasing, or uh, it's not changing, right? So you have to find the second first one. If they, they give you value, value here, yeah, if they give you value here, okay, so you can find by using the calculation, okay. But they say they didn't give you any value like this, okay. What you have to do, you have to draw a triangle like this, okay. And you can see when the size is bigger, okay, when the size of triangle is bigger, means the gradient is increasing. When the gradient is increasing, you already know the gradient represents velocity, so velocity is increasing means velocity increasing the object is accelerating okay sorry okay all right so let's say if we describe okay so for this part uh, i think i already discussed right this one you cannot draw a triangle means the gradient is zero so velocity is zero okay so means velocity is zero the object is not moving Okay, so the object is at rest. Okay, for this one, if you, I draw a triangle, right? So I draw a triangle. Okay, the size of triangle is same, right? It's same. Okay, so means the gradient is same and the velocity is uh, constant or uniform, right? Okay, and this one I also already uh, I already draw the triangle before. You can see the size of triangle it become bigger. Okay, it become bigger right so means the gradient is increasing so the gradient is represent velocity gradient is increasing velocity also increasing or you can say the object is accelerating okay and for this part if i draw the triangle okay can someone draw a triangle and tell me whether um how uh what uh, uh then tell me the size of triangle whether it's become bigger or become smaller. It's getting smaller, okay? So let's say if I draw a triangle like this, okay? You can see, right, it become smaller, okay? So, the when the size of triangle becomes smaller, the gradient also becomes smaller. Means the gradient represents velocity, velocity becomes smaller. So, velocity smaller means it decreasing, right? So, decreasing velocity, okay? Or we can say it's a deceleration, okay? Deceleration, okay? Okay, so far are you clear about the graph for displacement time? Anyone, anyone want to ask you to anything about this graph? Okay, especially for E, right? For E? First starting next week, uh... I think your point as well will take over your class. Okay, so make sure you really understand for chapter 1 and at least 2.1. Okay, so no questions, right? Okay, so please try to answer uh, this question and I will choose uh, 1, 2, 3, 6. Okay, 6. Six students to answer this question. Okay, and I will choose mostly from 4E. Okay, because I can see there's only 4S that give response here. Okay, 4E just keep quiet, so I will ask 4E. Okay, but 4S also you have to try to answer. Okay. Hmm. Uh, don't forget to take the attendance for today. 
So for those who absent today, we call your parents. Okay. If the same people, then I will call your parents. We can for us already uh, all attend the class or not? For, for us, for us already got 16, right? Are they attend my class? Or for us? Only 13 here. Okay, then later give me the name for, for two people who absent. I'm sure it's not here, right? Usually, the reason that we get is uh, you overstep. Okay, plus my class is early at the morning, right? But you have to remember when you go to school later, you have to be at school already, right? At 8 10 already at school, 6 or 6 30 already, you have to go to school, you have to wake up. So don't get used to it. You can sleep late, sleep early. I know there's a lot, the teacher is uh, on duty for STM, so you will not have a lot of. Google Meet class, okay? And we remember on uh, maybe like at the end of the March, okay? So I will not be able to do online class because I'm involving in marking SPM paper. Okay, but I will do class on Saturday, okay? For replace. Okay, I don't want to leave your class. If not, we, uh, we don't have so much time to finish all the syllabus. Okay, so I will call um, one person to answer first for H, uh, for question 3A1. Okay? So let's see. Uh, Wen Bin. Say Wen Bin. Okay. So remember, when you answer my question, this will be your PBD. Right? Because all the message here will be recorded. And already, you already know that I'll also record the video. Okay, so this will be the proof, okay, for your PBD. So later, if you... Okay, if you see your result for your TP is I can give you TP3 only or TP2, I cannot argue with me because you never answer my questions. Uh, okay, you didn't give me any response. Okay, and if you never submit to me your work, uh, so don't blame me if I give you TP1, TP2 or TP3. Okay. Alright, where is Tim Win Bin? Right, hi. Morning. Okay, what's your answer? 3A1? Hey, Wenbin. Am I pronounce your name correctly? Can I call you Wenbin? Wenbin or is it correct I pronounce your name? Yes, okay. So Wenbin, uh, what is the answer for 3A1? It's okay if wrong, I don't mind. Okay, I just want you to try. That's all. So I know whether you understand or not. Okay, 3A1. 3A1, how you want to find the velocity for A?
teacher, I haven't finished. I'm not sh quite sure how to do. Yes, that's the reason. Okay, uh, just tell me if you can understand. If you don't understand, tell me. I will explain. Don't worry. Okay, so I give you one example. Okay, for 3A1. Okay, so uh, others also was not confident or not sure how to answer for 3A1. Okay, so this is it. Okay, for AB, how you want to find the velocity? Okay, so this is the graph of what? Displacement against time. Okay, so remember when I said the gradient, the gradient of the graph for displacement against time is actually represent what? Represent the velocity. Okay, put here. Gradient is equals to velocity. Put the remark here. Okay, alright. So let's say for A, B part, right? For A, put a coordinate here, 0, 0. Okay, because you want to find the gradient, you know the formula for gradient is this, right? Okay, means you have two coordinates here. You must have, must have a two coordinate here. So what I should take A and B lah, because you want to find the velocity A, B, right? So A is 0, 0. So what is the coordinate for B? 10. 20. Okay, so far are you clear, Wendy? For this part? For this part, are you clear? Yes, alright. And then what you have to do? Okay, next you have to, okay, replace it in the, replace this value in the formula. Right? Okay, so I write again the formula here. Okay. So, this one, let's say I take this one x, y, y, 1. This one should be x, 2, y, 2. Okay. So, y, 2 is 20, right? So, 20 minus 0 divide by 10 minus 0. Okay. So, what is the answer? 2 ms negative 1. So, this is the velocity. Okay. Teacher, how do I get ms negative 1? So, remember how you want to find the unit of gradient. Okay, put another remark here. Okay, unit of gradient. Okay, y. Okay, y exists unit. Divide by x exists unit. Put a remark there. Okay, so y exists unit is what? Is meter here, right? It's meter here. And the x exists unit is what? Is second here. So, m divide by s, you will get m s negative. One. So, this is how I get the unit. Okay. And how, what about the value of the velocity here? Is 2 meter per second. Okay. Are you clear? Tell me. You understand now? Okay. If you understand, I want you to do for C and D. Okay. When B? When B, you have to do C and D. So, I give you some time. Okay. For number 2. Okay, so let's find another. Uh, Damien. Damien is here, right? Okay. Damien? Okay. So what's the answer for C? Uh, sorry, for number 2, BC. Okay, what is the velocity for BC? What is the value for the VC? The value of velocity for VC. Zero. Yes, very good. Zero. Okay. Okay. So how do uh, how you how do you get zero? It's very simple, right? For this one, you need, don't need to calculate. Right, like I said before, you just draw a triangle. Can I draw a triangle here? No. So means there is no triangle. Means the gradient also, you cannot draw. We don't have a, draw, a gradient. So when you don't have a gradient, this gradient is zero, right? So gradient is zero means also the velocity is zero. Okay. Teacher, can I say no velocity? No, cannot. Uh, put zero. Zero velocity. No, put zero velocity. 
Okay, uh, Wendy, are you ready for number three? Not yet, teacher. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I try to do first. Uh, okay, for B1, okay, for B1, you have to describe the motion. So, describe means you have to use words, okay? Okay, so let's see. Julius, Julius Lee Winian. So, I call you Julius, huh? Right, so Julius, what is the answer for B1, A, B? Okay, this one you have to calculate. Yeah, this one you have to describe by using words. What is the answer for B1? Julius, are you here? Mm. Julius? Missing in action. Teacher, can I try? Okay. Uh, Chloe, all right. You are from 4E, is it? Yes, okay, good. Okay, B1, A, B. What's your answer? B1, A, B. What's your answer? Teacher, the answer for 3, A, 3 is negative 4, okay? Uh. Yes, Chloe, what's the answer? Object moving with constant velocity. Yes, very good. Okay, thank you, Chloe. Okay, for this one, Okay, how you want to describe the motion? Okay, this one is the value, right? 2 ms negative 1. But are you sure that the object is moving like 2 meter per second, right? Uh, when, it, uh, when it travel from uh, 0 to 20 meter, are you sure that it will move in the constant velocity? So how you want to make it, uh, want to sure? So you draw a triangle, right? So for AB, if I draw the triangle, okay, what you can get, you can see the size of the triangle here. The size of the triangle is same. So remember I teach you before, right? The size of triangle same means it represents the gradient. The gradient is same. So gradient or represent the velocity. So when the gradient is same, the velocity also same. Okay? And we can change it to another word that we can say it moving with constant velocity. Very good, Chloe. Okay, that's how I want you to answer. Teacher, can I say the object is accelerating? Constant velocity, the object is not accelerating. The acceleration zero. Right? The acceleration is zero. Okay, they say if I draw the graph, uh, okay, the constant velocity means the acceleration is zero because the velocity is not changing, right? So there is no uh, increasing velocity. Increasing velocity, you can say it's accelerating, right? Okay, very good, it's okay. Right, for BC, uh, wait, I we, we discuss first uh, when Dean answer. Teacher object moving with constant speed. Uh, constant speed. Mm. Okay. Because this one, they use a displacement, right? Okay. Its speed is distant, right? Yeah, constant speed is okay if you want to compare the magnitude, right? But uh, if, you want, if you want to compare the magnitude, it's okay. But let's say if you want to compare it by using uh, velocity, for me, I prefer velocity. Because this one, they use a displacement. Okay, it's not wrong, okay? It's not wrong, it's still correct, okay? But here, because they use a displacement. And if you use this, uh, if you use the... Uh, speed, speed is should be this distance, right? Yeah. Speed is actually not the same like velocity. Speed, uh, so someone already confused. 
Okay, so teacher of the, uh, Trisha, are you okay? Can you understand? You, yes, the answer for constant speed is correct. Okay, but uh, I think it's more uh, accurate if you put constant velocity because you can see the graph they use displacement. Okay, and then uh, Chloe, you say uh, speed is same as velocity. No, speed is not same as velocity. Because speed, they use a distance, right? And velocity, they use a displacement. Okay, and you know the uh, distance and displacement is not same, correct? Uh, let's say for, I already told you, right? Let's say, uh, a, a, let's say the man travel from A to B, this is 10 meter. And then when it turn back, it turn back uh, 5 meter. So what is the displacement here? Displacement is 5, right? Because this one, they say we assume positive. This one is negative, right? Because displacement, you have to consider the direction here. So for this one, displacement is 5 meter. But how about the distance? The distance, we ignore the direction, right? So we just add the value here. So that means 10 plus 5. So you will get 50 meter. So you can see it's different. Uh, right? So it's different. Okay, so that's why I say I prefer the answer should be constant velocity because the graph using displacement. Unless the graph is distant against time, then uh, the answer should be constant uh, speed, okay? But you can put constant speed also, okay? But for me, I think I, I would like more constant velocity, okay? So are you clear now, Chloe? Any other question you want to ask, teacher? No, okay, very good. So we move on to uh, when being answer. Uh, sorry, when being uh, answer just now. So when being got negative 4, right? Okay, so let's see whether it's correct or not. Okay, so this one is 30, 20. This one is uh, 35, 0. Okay, so we use the formula here, the gradient formula. Okay, let's see, I put it as, as y, y1, x2, y2. Okay, x2, y2. So 0 minus 20 divide by 35 minus 0. Okay, so this one you get negative 20 and this one is, uh, sorry, 35 minus 30. So this one should be 5, right? So you get negative 4 ms negative 1. Yes, very good, Wendy. Okay, so are you clear now, Wendy, how to calculate the velocity for the object if you, they give you the displacement again times? Wendy, are you clear? Yes, very good. Okay, so we move on. Uh, we move on to the next part. Okay, for BC, you already know for this one is zero ms negative one, right? So mean if you want to describe the motion here, so zero velocity. Okay, or you can put it. Okay, it at rest. Okay, or you can say object not moving. Okay. Object not moving for BC. Okay. Uh, for CD, yeah, we call another one, another person. Mm. Ning Zing. Ta Ning Zing. Okay, Ta Ning Zing. Are you here? Decreasing. Decreasing velocity. 
Okay, decreasing velocity. Is that your answer? Decreasing velocity. Okay. Alright, so let's discuss about this one. Okay. Uh, for this part, right, so if I say I draw, remember velocity, what I say, if you want to find velocity from graph displacement against time, you have to find the gradient. So how you want to find the gradient, you have to draw a triangle or you can use the value given. Okay, so I draw the triangle here. Okay, I draw a triangle. Right, so what you can see the size of the triangle. The size of the triangle is same, right? So means the gradient is same. The gradient is same, the velocity is same. Right? Then what is the difference between A, B and C, D? Okay? Because you can see be, uh, your friend already calculated before this when being already calculated is negative 4. Okay? So what is actually negative means? Okay? Means it moves, okay? It moves with uniform velocity but opposite direction. Alright? Uh, so it moves with uh, uniform velocity but in opposite direction. Remember I give you one example before. Okay? When I throw a ball Okay, when I throw a ball to the wall. Okay, so let's say the U here is the initial velocity is 5 ms negative 1. Okay, so when I throw the ball into the wall, so what will happen to the ball? It will bounce back, right? Okay, it will bounce back. Okay, so it will bounce back. Okay, so this one is, should be what I told you. The velocity here you have to put negative sign, right? V is negative 5, let's say. So what I put in negative? Because I want to show that the velocity is changing direction. Okay. So it's same like this one. Okay. So you find the V is negative. It's not because it's decreasing. It's to show that the direction of the velocity is changing. Okay. So it means it still moves with uniform velocity. You can, so you can say constant velocity. Okay. But in opposite direction. Okay. Are you clear about that? Okay, so the answer is uniform velocity but in opposite direction. Okay, you want teacher to repeat again? Anyone? Can you understand? Can I? Can you understand why I said uniform velocity be in opposite teacher? I put uniform velocity, uniform reversing velocity. No, no, no. Cannot put that. Uniform reversing velocity. No, it's not correct. The correct term for it. Teacher can just say object moving with, with deceleration. And uh, no, because this one is not deceleration. The velocity is same, right? Okay, the velocity is same. You can see if I draw the triangle here, the size of the triangle is same. So, means the gradient is same. The gradient same means the velocity is uniform. But it becomes negative because it changed velocity. Uh, moving with deceleration, no, Krisha. Okay, teacher, if the x axis is distant, we can still say that it's an opposite uh, direction. Okay, if the means the y axis, is it? Y axis is distance. Right? Why is this is it then? Can I say that it is in opposite direction? Um, okay. If a distant graph, distant graph, it should be not like, uh, it will be not like this. It will be increasing like this. Uh, it's different. Uh, if distant graph is different. Okay. If distant graph, it should be like this. Okay. Because you just add, add the value, right? Okay, so it will be keep increasing. Okay, uh, like this before we just add 10, 15. So you can see the value increasing. So there will be no graph going down like this. The graph will keep increasing. Okay, are you clear, Kritiga? Okay, yeah. It's okay, you can ask. If you're confused, you can ask. Uh, one gene you, can I put decreasing in constant? No, no. Cannot put decreasing. Because this crazy is the value, the magnitude, okay? You already count, right? The value is negative 4. 4 means all the, from 30 to 35 seconds, 
it moved with 4 meter per second. Means there is no change in velocity. But it only changes the direction. Okay, the direction is only change. The velocity, the magnitude is not decreasing. It's same. 30 to 35 second, it moves with 4 meter per second. Okay, but it moving in opposite direction. Like I said before, when you draw, when you throw a ball, okay, to the wall, okay, the initial ball, uh, the initial velocity is five. Okay, then you know that the direction will be changed, right? It will bounce back. So mean the direction will change. So we put negative five because we want to show that the velocity now is reversing. Okay, or mean it move in opposite direction. So the negative is not actually to show the value whether it's decreasing or no. No. Here, the negative here is to show the direction. Okay? To show the direction. Is it okay? Are you clear? Anyone still have a questions? It's okay if you are if you confused, you just can ask. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next one, question number three. Okay, question number three. Uh, okay, so for 3C, okay, I give you some time to answer. Five minutes. So from this one, you can see the difference in distance and displacement. Okay.
Yeah. Okay. So can I call okay from for S okay Raja Nur Izati. Okay. Can you give me answer for C1? Okay, what's your answer for C1? Twenty. Okay. Right. Any other answer? Other than twenty? Anyone else want to try? Maybe you want to try. Forty. Forty. Okay. Correct. Very good. Okay, actually the answer is 40. Okay, so here from, from A to B is already travel 20 meter, right? So 20, okay. And then uh, from 10 to 30, there is no change in uh, displacement, right? Okay, there is no change for displacement, so means it doesn't move, okay? Right, and then when it's uh, 30 to 35, okay, we move back to zero here. So, 20 plus 20, okay? So, the displacement here is 20. So, 20 plus 20, the answer is 40 meter. Very good, okay? Alright, so for C2, for C2, let's try uh, Jun Rong. Tan Jun Rong. What is the total displacement? Tan Jun Rong. Why is the total displacement here? Forty. Okay. Total displacement also forty. Okay. Uh, other answer? Zero. 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 When Tom said zero, Kevin okay, said zero. Very good. Okay. The answer should be zero, right? Ah, so remember here, you can see it move back, right? So this one is positive 20. Okay, so positive 20. Okay, and then this one is zero, right? This one is zero. This one is zero. Okay, for this part, it goes back to, from 20, go back to zero, right? So me, it travels 20 meters. But, I already told you, this moving in the opposite direction okay so positive plus negative 20 so you will get zero okay you can see here at the time 35 seconds the displacement is zero right if you read the coordinate here okay opposite direction need to minus uh yes need to put minus because it shows that it moves in the uh, opposite direction same like the velocity that I told you just now. The balls bounce back, it change direction, right? Remember I put the negative 5. Okay, the sign is negative. Hmm. Remember the, the one that I draw before? Okay, for velocity, right? So this one I put positive 5. And then when you change direction, I put negative 5. So same like this one also, you have to put negative. Okay? Alright. Okay, this, this one is velocity, this one is a displacement. This same, you have to put negative to show that it's changed direction. Okay, next for D1. For D1, uh, Yap Shuyi. Yap Shuyi, are you here? Yap Shuyi. Yap Shui, are you here?
Brand is Yap Shui. Sleeping. Just leave the class doing something else. Yap Shui. If you don't answer me, I will say that you skip my class. Okay. So for E, who uh, the monitor for for E? So whoever that I say the name, he didn't, uh, he or she didn't respond. Put it as absent. Okay, put it as absent. So means he didn't attend my class. Okay, never mind. I call another person. Um. Uh, Ong Ying Yun. Ong Ying Yun. Are you here, Ong Ying Yun? Yes, very good. Okay, so what's the answer for D1? D1, the average speed. What's the answer for average speed? So, speed use distance. It doesn't matter if it's wrong. I, I don't mind. Okay, I just want you to respond. What? 1.143. Okay, so let's see if the answer is correct. Okay, so this one is the, what's the formula for the every speed? So, uh, total speed divided by total time. Right? So, speed we already, uh, the, sorry, speed. No, no, speed, total distance. Sorry, sorry. Total distance. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, total distance divided by total time. So, the distance you already calculate 40, total time is 35. Okay, so the answer should be 40 divided by 35 is 1.143. Correct. Good. Okay, 1.143. Very good, eh? Yun -yun. Okay, so let's say if you want to calculate, you can give answer 2 or 3 decimal. Don't give 1 decimal. If 1 decimal is wrong. Okay, if you use a calculator and you got many points there, okay, many numbers there, okay, long number. Take two or three decimal point. Right, teacher must take two decimal point actually. Oh no, you can take two or three, doesn't matter. Okay, how about the average velocity? So we move to the next one. Um, Hafi, mm, mm, mm. Muhammad Hafi. What is the answer for average velocity? What is the answer for average velocity? Happy is here? Yes. Okay, what is the answer for the average velocity? Happy. What is the answer for average velocity? Mm -hmm. mm. Chloe gave answer zero. So how about you, Happy? What is the answer for average velocity? Zero two, okay. All right. So the answer is zero. Why? Okay. So the formula is total displacement divided by total time. Okay. So remember for the calculation questions, please write the formula. Okay. Because sometimes in exam they got a mark for formula. Okay. Then we give you mark. So total displacement is zero and total time is thirty five. So you will get zero ms negative one. So that's the answer. Okay. Right. Any any uh, any question you want to ask teacher before I stop the class? 
Are you clear about displacement and time draw? Okay. So let's see if you have a question, you can uh, text me. You can PM me. Okay. So I see you uh, next week on Monday. Okay, please do the homework okay, that I gave, and I will put the answer in the uh, in the YouTube so you can check. Okay, but make sure you please do first. Okay, I will do put the answer and also the explanation. And let's say if you see the if you see the video and you still cannot understand, please text me. Okay, all right. So thank you. Okay, I see you on uh, next class on Monday. Take care, class. Have a good weekend. Okay, bye. Ciao. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, teacher. All right, Thank well, you, teacher. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Welcome.